Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect hosting your domain to Netlify. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you exactly connect your hosting your domain here to Netlify? Well, adding your domain is fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and access a few things in hosting here. So at the dev side here, you want to go to your domains, click on domain portfolio. You want to look for your domain here and just click on the manage button that you see here. Now from here, you have the init name servers, go ahead and click on it. And from here, we are now ready to start connecting our Netlify uh, page. So in this case, you want to go to app.netlify.com, just log in. You want to go to sites here and access the site that you currently have. Now at the left side, you want to access domain management. And from here, you should see your product domains which in this case, what you need to do is you just need to click on the add a domain option and cl just click on add a domain you already own. Now you need to add your domain here. So let's go ahead and basically uh, copy that from our previous page here. So let's go ahead and go back in to our hosting your account. And from here, let's go ahead and click or copy our uh, actual domain. So in this case, let's go back to domain overview copy uh, our domain here, go back to the DNS name servers, go back in here and just paste your domain, click on verify. Now from here, it's going to say good news. So find is already uh, on Netify DNS. So you can go ahead and just add your domain. So in this case, just click on the add domain option here. Now, by the way, if uh, your domain is not added in Netify DNS, uh, you, there might be a, lot, a different steps I may need to do uh, in order for you to do so. Let's go ahead and click on add domain here. But as you can see, it's now added in here. So it's going to start preparing our domain here. So just uh, you can just wait for it. But you also have other options here at the right side. Click on options. And you can go just go to the DNS panel itself. And from here, it should give you the option to view a few things here. So in this case, uh, you have your name service here, by the way. So just in case this does not point immediately into uh, your web page, what you could do here is you could go ahead and start using this name server. So you want to go back into Hostinger and you want to go and click on change name servers and click on change name servers and just copy the uh, name servers that you see here. Let's go and copy the first one, paste it on the very first one that you see here, copy the second one here and just paste it on the second section and the third one, back Hostinger, third and fourth copy this one and do the same thing. You want to go and just paste it in here, click on save. Now, to be speaking, once you've done this, it might take around like 24 to 48 hours uh, for the changes to take effect. So you just need to wait for the changes to take effect here, but usually uh, it you should be good. But yeah, so in this case, again, you need to wait around 24 to 48 hours in order for the changes to uh, take effect here. So if you're not able to access your web, uh, website through this uh, yet, you may need to uh, wait uh, further, like 24 to 48 hours, but you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.